phone video captured inside a Greater Nanticoke Area High School bathroom Friday circulated on Snapchat and other social sharing sites. We've blurred the video to conceal the juveniles who appear in the footage. The boy in the red sweatshirt is punched in the face. After trying to kick back at his attacker, he's punched again, this time egged on by bystanders. Come on, hurry up. Come on, do it, do it. Oh! The second time he's hit hard, bystanders begin to scramble when they realize the boy is hurt. One recipient of the Snapchats, a recent grad of Nanticoke High School, who says he was disgusted by what he saw. I was one of the kids in high school too that was picked on and occasionally bullied. And I wasn't going to sit there and just let, you know, other people get tossed around kind of like the way I was. Tyler Albert says he's a casual acquaintance of the boy shown punching the boy in red. Still, he chose to share the video on Facebook and offer a listening ear to the victim. There's been a few times at Nanny Coke where I reported bullying incidents and not really much was done about it. Either they were suspended for a day or something like that. So that's why I wanted to bring so much attention to it. And I'm glad it went viral the way it did. It makes the district look bad because of the fact that, um, you know, it's, it's placed on social media. The superintendent here at Nanticoke tells us there are programs in place for students to report bullying anonymously if they witness it. He's disappointed that students in this case rather chose to record it with their cell phones and post it on social media. The school has an anonymous online reporting system as well as a state mandated program called Safe to Say. The state provides students with a 24 hour hotline and a phone app where kids can report bullying. Being that we do have video footage of it now, um, there will be further disciplinary action for those, all those involved, and, and that disciplinary action I expect to be very heavy. Nanticoke police are also investigating the incident. Chief Robert Lehman says they have several interviews left to conduct this week. There's one side of it that's being dealt with criminally um, with the uh, police department, and then there's the other side of it which is going to be dealt with um, from an educational standpoint and from the district uh, standpoint administratively. Police say as of now, nobody has been arrested in connection with the incident. If they do charge students involved, those students will be charged as juveniles. The Nanticoke police chief says they do plan to wrap up the investigation by the end of the week. Britt Purdy, Newswatch 16, reporting live tonight in the newsroom. All right, Britt, thank you.